Jesus of the church. That's why every Christmas and every Easter churches were packed. But at the Sundays they were empty. I've been thinking about it. I said what causes people who don't usually go to church to go to church on Christmas because of the joy that the Christians have on Easter or Christmas, the slaughtering of animals, the washing of the church, the buying of clothes, the going to the salon, the, the preparations, makes the people think there is something powerful in that building. And it was so, the choir could practice for months to sing on the that day. And when you had it on Christmas or Easter, it was like angels. When you went on the following Sunday, you said, what happened to this choir? Child of God, there is something we put emphasis on Christmas and Easter. It's not the same this Christmas and Easter. Tell someone that he died and rose again. He's alive. He lives in us. He lives in you. Jesus is alive. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He is alive. He is no longer dead. He is risen from the dead. In Jesus' name. No longer in the grave. Jesus is alive. Amen. Amen. He is alive. Lift your hands and try it. And say it seven times. Jesus is alive. Seven times. You know, you know that song that says he no longer he no longer where he lay he is alive he no longer where he lay he is alive that's part of the lyrics in, in the song Jesus is alive yes He's no longer where he lay. It's a powerful, powerful song. You'll find it on the album of Phil Driscoll. Uh, album of Phil Driscoll. Song of the 80s, 70s. Jesus is alive. Yes, Tell your neighbor, say, He is alive. So that's why tomorrow we're going to have a wonderful miracle vigil called the night prayer. We're going to worship. We're going to praise. We're going to be anointed. We're going to see miracles. You will know that he's alive. We don't just talk about it. Because he's alive, he will be here as he is today right now. Oh, come on, clap your hands to Jesus. As, as, as he is alive, blind eyes will open, creepers will walk, deaf and dumb will speak. I remember I, I saw somebody, somebody sent me a, a, a clip of uh, when we went to Lira, a Nancy school of the deaf and dumb. Brought all the deaf and dumb from the school. We brought all the deaf and dumb from the school. From the school of the deaf and dumb. Here in Uganda, a Nancy school of the deaf and dumb. I, I wish they can, I, I saw it today. They sent it to me. It, it was it was on uh, on, 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 on social media. And uh, one kid after the other, they began to hear and speak. When you are clapping for 
Yeah, I'll, I'll show you one of the clips. It was, uh, it was uh, Engineer Emma sent it to me. Engineer Emma, it, it, is, it, is, it is just powerful. It was for today, I think. Oh, man. How many of you saw it? Not on TV, but on social media. On social media. On social media. On social media. What do you watch, people? How many of you are on social media? TikTok, TikTok YouTube, what's YouTube whatever. How many of you are not on anything? How many of you don't know what I'm talking about? Child of God, <laughs> you, you, have to, you have to see these clips. It, it was there. Yeah, that, that is... That is uh, I wish they can put on the sound. But take it to Bozi. Nine. Ten. Ha 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 ha. Look at his face. My God. Bana. Yesu. Yesu. Amen. Tata. Tata. Mama. Mama. Go back at the beginning of the video. Tell us. Let you are made to walk. In Jesus' name, yes, Pastor Atta. Pastor Omara Joseph is from the deaf school. Omara, when you prayed, God touched his mouth and his ears. He's able to hear for the first time. Oba, good Omara. You're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. Papa. 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 Mama. Para. Amen. Bate. One. Ba. Two. Cha. Three. Cha. Four. Go. Five. Go. Six. Cha cha. Seven. Para. Eight. Ach. Nine. Ach. Ten. Ha 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 ha. Ba 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 ba. Look at his face. Wait up. Yeah. Woo. Later. Yeah. Level here, do level. Tell us. This is a student from Nancy School of the Deaf. Yes. He had already left the School of the Deaf and was now in the in the in the streets. Uh huh. But he's, he comes from about 40 kilometers away. Including that one. No, this it, it was one after the other. Wow. And it's not because I laid hands on them. Wow. 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 Hello? 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 One. Two, Bam. three, Bam. hello, Bam. hello, uh. oh, 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 ah, 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 
This is the mother who has just come to see her daughter. Praise the Lord. This child was given birth to. And in, six, in eight months, he was sick. For six hours, he couldn't recognize me. After prayer, she resurrected. After resurrection, she got lame. After lameness, she didn't talk. Without talking, and she was now here like this. Then the doctor said she, she had a problem in the brain. Every time saliva would be coming on her mouth, she struggled up to now. After the dad died, an orphan without nine years without the father. The She's saying she's hearing. Would, when she used not to hear anything. And she beckoned on her and said, What is happening? I can hear. In the morning, she called the headmaster to give permission for the lady to come for prayers. And the headmaster did. But she went through suffering. She's called Gloria. Are you happy? Are you happy? Yeah. She has begun to dog, hear. Yum, dog, yum, dog, I yum. am happy and happy and happy. Now they have to, you know, when people have been deaf and dumb, they don't know how to speak. They don't hear sound. You don't hear sound. So someone has to teach them to speak. Because they're like babies. So someone has to teach them. She's a beautiful girl. God bless you. Amen. And increase you. Amen. Amen. School. She I'm got good. married. She has never heard or spoken in her life. She came with her husband. Is in the congregation. Where, Where is, is the husband? Where is the husband? Husband, husband. Is the husband husband? Husband, husband. Tinchile, she kiti mone kai ti pino. Kai ni biru chwa danoni. What is husband? What is husband? Chware. 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 Chware, chware. Chware, don't you been? What's that? Spoken. Yeah, I, 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 we tested that with uh, that interpret. And now I put for logo. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, well, let's wait for her husband to come over here. Let's wait for her husband to come over here. No, let her husband come. Then she, they will testify when her husband comes. Since birth. Tell us what happened. Praise the Lord. After sickness, I, my, one here got blocked. The right hand side, not, could not hear. But here, I got delivered. Which year was, was deaf? She is 20 years old. Which year was deaf? Okay, stop this one. King. Totally. King. Hello. 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 One. One. Ah. Ah. <laughs> 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 I am happy. I am happy. I can hear. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. This is the mother of this kid. Uh -huh. None of them has ever spoken or heard in their life. We we them them and they can hear. And they can do you do when you're cop? This is the mother of that boy. Uh -huh. They are going they want to speak now. We are Hello. school, Nancy. Hello. This 
your son? Ati niye ne? Hey. Ati na ye no. Father, you help this boy. That he can hear well. And that he can speak well. In the mighty name of Jesus. That I thank you, Father. Because the demon of deafness has left him. Let him hear like every other human being. In Jesus' name. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 Lift up your hand and dance for Jesus. Ting ching we, aye bien. Jesus. 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 Thank you so much. Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't Others had afterwards and spoke perfectly well. Others immediately like that girl. Somebody stand up on your feet and say, Jesus is alive. Shout it again. And that's what we are going to see tomorrow night. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome in this place. The Lord is going to answer your prayers. The things that are impossible with men are going to be possible with God. So come with your faith. Come with your giving. Come with your thanksgiving. Jesus is alive is not just a cliche. It is a reality. It is a reality. He makes the cripple walk, the blind see, the deaf to hear. His presence is real. Somebody say amen. You may be seated. In, in just a few minutes, you know, we've been talking about the palm trees and the olive trees. And we all know we're talking about the palms. Tomorrow night, I'll show you the difference. And why does God combine both oils to create a unique anointing for your life? I call it the double anointing. We saw since Sunday up to yesterday we are talking about the palm. That's why they use the palm trees. It produces a good palm oil which you can use for soap, for cleansing, washing. You can also use it for deep frying in order to turn something from its natural looks into a better look. And, and, and you use oil. Oil does not only bake or fry. It leaves a taste different. It leaves the look different. It, 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 it turns a door into 
a chapati and the, the smell will be uh, the appetizing smell will be everywhere that's the difference between the anointing and then the olive oil is also unique but let me just give you one scripture of the oil In the book of Ezekiel, I want to see what the olive oil will do to you. And what happens after you are anointed. Ezekiel chapter 16 verse 13. David says in Psalms 23, he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And he pours his oil on my head and my cup runneth over. You have anointed my head with oil and my cup runneth over. Before your enemies, sickness, disease, man, trouble, that is the moment to seek the Lord to be more anointed. You didn't hear what I just said. I said, don't run to things. Run to him to anoint you before your enemies. And God is going to just do that. Before cancer, before sickness, before diseases, before poverty, before people, before what? God is just going to anoint you more. You are about to see miracles you've never seen before. If you came here in need of a miracle, clap your hands for God. It is, it, is, it is amazing. So Ezekiel chapter 16 verse 13. He said, Thus was thou decked with gold. Give me New King James, please. Uh, this is old English. You'll, you'll, you'll struggle with it. Thus you were adorned with gold and silver. And your clothing was of fine linen, silk, and embroidered clothes. You ate past pastries of fine flour. You know, uh, I, I, tomorrow I, I will bring some pastries. Pastries, I wish they can show you the picture of pastries. A bread is not known as a pastry. A bread, you can just... A chapati is not a pastry. Chapati is a pastry. A pastry is like um, a croissant. A croissant is made out of fine flour. They make it like a chapati, but then they roll it like... Uh, until they create that, that, that shaped bread. They bake it with butter. It is flaky. When you are breaking it to eat it, it can even fall down. Some pastries is like um, like um, uh, apple cobra, ca ca cabra or, or whatever. There are many many things they, they make out of fruit and very delicious. Blueberries. And, but the, the flower is so fine. And uh, you don't saw her. That, that's a kind of pastries. pastry. And they're saying this particular individual person was ordained with gold. Uh, you, you had bling bling. And you had silver. You had shoes. And uh, you were had you had wonderful, wonderful jewelry. Diamonds and gold. Silver all on you. And that's what you are eating. That's what you are eating. Croissants. You know, that, that's what you are eating. Let's go continue with the, with the, with the verse. I, I wish somebody can dress you. Can show me someone dressed with gold. If you can find someone who's like uh, 
a king dressed in gold and silver. He said, you ate fine flour, honey, and then he adds on something. Look at the verse. Let's just, let's just go slowly by slowly. Read with me. One, two, three, go. Thus you were adorned with gold, silver, and your clothes were of fine linen, silk, and embroidered clothes. So a chamber of Jotachali your clothing was not second hand clothes it wasn't from anywhere else it wasn't this kind of clothes were admirable to dress you ate pastries of fine flour honey and then he adds he separates I don't know whether you are seeing it when I turned he said ne gold and silver comma and your clothes were of fine linen, comma, silk, comma, and embroidered clothes. You ate pastry of fine flour, comma, honey, and oil. In other words, when oil came in, hello, when oil came in, you were exceedingly beautiful. Yes, the other things they helped you look much more better, look more presented. But when the anointing hit in, you became exceedingly beautiful and succeeded to royalty. Uh, no, no, no you succeeded to become royalty. Uh, I don't know whom I'm talking to. When you dressed in gold, when you saw me some gold and some silver and some jewelry and some clothes, some nice clothes, you know, I, I want to see the people to see them. You did all this. You were even eating well. You were looking good. You were not able to succeed or You were not able to be royalty. Once the anointing hit you, you became royalty. This one is missing some. This one is missing some. It's missing something. Queen of England. The chariots of the Queen of England. Some of these you know, garments. There's a garment I saw. In which the queen dressed or the husband. You know, you, you look at the chamber of You look at the royal garment. Those are one people. I want to see the queen's royal diamond. When King Charles was being at the front, they even hold some of the garment. Uh -huh. yeah. That's the royal diadem. They can no longer make any like that. It will impoverish the entire national coffers. You can't find those precious games anywhere. That royal diamond. If they sell piece by piece, every African will drive a beamer. The poverty will be no more. Show us the garment. The royal garment. You see the garment. You can't wear that royal diadem on a border border. I'm still waiting for the pictures. Brothers and sisters, after being dressed up with all that, before the anointing comes, in, you will be ordinary. I want you to hear today. Once the anointing hits you, even you watching on TV, 
Once the anointing falls on you, that's when you exceed. Clap your hands for God. Even if you're dressed with all that, before the anointing comes, you'll be an ordinary person. These are very beautiful garments. If they put them on you, everybody will know that one is not a joke with a royal dagger. But before the anointing comes, you'll be an ordinary person. The Lord does not only make us good looking, He wants you to exceed in whatever you're going to do. Clap your hands for God. Say, I'm going to exceed. I don't see somebody who loves it, needs it. We are all believers, but you are going to exceed others. You are going to exceed others. Okay? Say, I'm going to exceed. So in the book of Ezekiel, he tells you, you are about to exceed. You're going to look exceedingly beautiful. You see, you see Sarah did not have the regalia. She didn't have a crown on her head. But she was more beautiful than the women of Egypt. Why? Because of the anointing. Child of God, because of the anointing. You will look exceedingly beautiful. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. You're clapping for your people. And he said, Nagamba. and you are going to advance to royalty. Ogenda Mubulangira royalty. Ogenda in royalty. You will succeed to royalty. Omanyi wanomwafrikenakuzino in Africa lately. We've not witnessed princes and princesses. The few we know, they're still struggling to receive their inheritance as royalty. So, that's why they look like commoners. If their kingdoms were not uh, tampered with, they will be born in their wealth. Our heavenly kingdom, nobody can overthrow it. it. Nobody can bother it. Our kingdom is forever and ever. Once you are born in the kingdom of God, nobody will tamper with your wealth. That's why God told Abraham, you and your seed, you and your seed, lift up your hand. Say, thank you, Lord. Me and my seed. If you want to take it in Jesus' name. So it becomes, it becomes powerful when the anointing hits your head. He said, he anoints my head with oil. Psalms 23 verse 5. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You have anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. The anointing first hits you and then your cup will run over. In other words, abundance is coming after the if you got it, clap and celebrate. Overflow. Overflow life. Overflow. Oh, somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Psalms 45 and verse 7. Psalms 45 verse 7. 
he says, Thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness. Therefore, God, thy God, has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. Whoever is a believer without joy, they are below you. You didn't hear what I said. Whenever you see a Christian who is gloomy and yet they are children of God, bless God, he has placed you above them. The anointing that's taking you above others, the Lord is going to give it to you. Because you love righteousness and you hate wickedness. Therefore, God, thy God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the one who destroyed the grave, he has anointed you with the oil of gladness. The way we're going to see you when you're laughing. When you're starting to be glad and rejoice. Come on, somebody. Above thy fellows. Psalms 141 and verse 5. I'll finish with this and then we shall pick it up tomorrow. Psalms 141 verse 5. Let the righteous smite me. It shall be a kindness. And let him reprove me. It shall be an excellent oil. Which shall not break my head. For yet my prayer also shall be in their calamities. So in other words, he was saying that when the righteous, when the righteous, Knock you. Uh, your head, your, it's kindness. It's like it's pointing you to another. Go this way. And it shall be an, ex, and it shall be an excellent oil. You get the anointing of excellence. You see, Jesus is the righteous one. He's the righteous one. When he died for us, when he saved us, when he came to Israel and directed it towards righteousness, that anointing made Israel an excellent people. Brothers and sisters, the Lord is going to put the anointing of excellence upon you. Something is about to happen to you. You will exceed all your brethren. You will exceed others. And that happens because of the oil. Because of the oil. God is about to smite your enemy and you'll be surprised. Zechariah 4.12 Let me give you another verse. And I answered again and said unto him, What be these two olive branches which through the two golden pipes empty the golden oil out of themselves? That's what I was talking about. Who are these two olive branches which through the two golden pipes empty the golden oil out of themselves. Which are these two olive olives? Which are these two? Which are these two? That empty the oil in them. 
using the golden pipe. People of God, there is a double anointing you are about to receive. Raise your hand, I need it, Lord. Say it again, I need it. I know you are anointed, but you are about to get another anointing. You are about to operate on the double. So he was talking about which are these two olive branches, which through the two golden pipes empty the golden oil out of themselves. You're about to be anointed with a double anointing. You're about to do double what Elijah did. Double what Paul did. Jesus said, the works that I do shall you do also. Lift your hand and shout, holy, holy, seven times. Mighty, mighty, mighty. mighty. Powerful Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amina. Raise your hands, say, Lord. Oh, man, we're going to talk about the oils. You're going to see people in the month of April. April, you're about to see people in the month of April operating on a double anointing every step of the way. Constant supply of God's blessing. But I don't want to keep you waiting because tomorrow, tomorrow is a long day and God is going to do wonderful things. Bring the sick. Bring those who need the Lord. His spirit is all over us. In Jesus' mighty name. Child of God, you need more than one anointing. You need all the anointing that is of the Holy Spirit, of the power of God. May you operate with double. Lift your hand and just laugh. You remember the first verse I told you on Sunday night that the palm trees have dried up. The olives have dried up. The, 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 the fruit trees have dried up. All because joy dried up. Whenever the enemy is on you, he wants you to lose the fastest thing that evaporates out of your faith. One thing that evaporates out of a believer's life is joy. We give better when we are full of joy. We work stronger when we are full of joy. Anything that comes your way to take away your joy, it it doesn't have to fight you for long. Because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Is your strength. And so therefore, saints, make sure your joy is high. Make sure your joy is high. Because that is the means of which God is going to do something great. I have a feeling that this week, as Jesus came in Jerusalem, overturned tables in the temple. He's going to overturn everything in your body that is trying to destroy you. And he's coming in with power and miracles in Jesus' mighty name. And he's going to defeat the enemy. And he's going to give you the victory. Oh Lord God Almighty. You are holy and powerful. In Jesus mighty name. Amen and amen. amen. Lift your hand. And say, Lord, I need you. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. You know, he died for us on the cross. The cross means much to us. Our God.
God is holy. Jesus is mighty. We worship him. Tumusinza. Mare bosheta dedi. Mare bosheta dedi rorobo. I give you praise, Jesus. Yes, Lift your hand and tell him how much you appreciate him. I give you praise, Jesus. Yes, I worship you, Lord. Your presence fill this place, Lord. There is a fountain filled with the blood that flows from the manual's vein. And sinners that plunge beneath the flood. They lose all their guilty stains. There is a fountain that's filled with Emmanuel's vein. Filled with the blood that comes from Emmanuel's vein. And sinners that plunge beneath the flood. They lose all their guilty stains. Oh Lord, we give you praise. We lose our poverty. Our sickness stains. Our inferiority complex. Master of heaven and earth. You appear to us of all. And you've said you've loved us with an everlasting love. Oh Lord, we love you. The, the Lisa River that that floods from Emmanuel's vein. You know the song. And sinners that plunge beneath that. Uh, and sinners plunge beneath the flood, lose all their guilty stain, lose all. The guilty stays lose all the guilty stays and seen as blood beneath the flood lose all the guilty stays. Lose all the guilty stains. Lose all the guilty stains. And seen as blanched beneath the flood. Lose all the guilty stains. 
Up your hands and tell them one can be a fountain that filled with the blood that drawn from the Emmanuel's veins sinners that plunge beneath that flood they lose all their guilty stains all your stains of poverty, sickness, disease, you're now adorned with greatness. Lift up your hand and say, thank you, Lord. Oh, come on, somebody, clap your hands to Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. Lift your hand and say, Lord, I want that anointing. I want that double anointing. And those of you at home, those of you watching, in distant lands, plan to be with us. It's going to be wonderful tomorrow night. And God is going to do wonderful things. You may be seated. We are working in Karamoja. And the Lord is doing great things. And uh, Nalongo Hawa Nachintu has come to sow her seed of one million shillings towards Karamoja. Karamoja. Mr. Jimmy Magash, Jimmy Magash from Masindi, Masindi has come to sow his seed of one million six hundred and fifty thousand in response to Karamoja. Karamoja. Katusime Fiona, Katusime Fiona from Scroll of, Scroll of Life Church Kawanda, Life Church Kawanda has come to sow her seed of 300,000 to Karamoja. You can see what's going on in Karamoja right now. The clouds are billowing low and they are, they are, we, are, we, are, we must get the, the seeds in the ground. So they are planting as you see. But this is what I was talking about. The some soil is known as long Rome as it is uh, as, as, as you see now. So some of it needs help. So that's why yesterday we were raising some money a hundred dollars. We need two hundred people to give a hundred dollars each to buy the fertilizers and put it where the, the soil is like red that tells you it needs a phosphate. It needs some, some phosphate. So, and we're going to use the organic one so that it can be able to support the soil to increase the yield. Child of God, God has called you. Sometimes people think calling comes by thunder <laughs> with glittering, shimmering curtains. What I've learned about God sometimes is obedience. He said, if you can feed Karamoja, you'll feed the world. Each one of us are going to become billionaires because we will So when you look at the food we are distributing, and the good thing is, Uganda is responding to the Uganda need. We are showing example, not only in Uganda, 
but all of Africa. Africa this is my confidence that the Lord who began a work in you he will finish it. But you will not remain the same. If you look at that picture you are looking at some of those people if, if you can show me the picture where these people had gathered earlier on no, not Please be careful. Okay, I, I want the people. This guy is so excited. I want the face of the people. Let's go to the original picture. I, I want you to see when we first met them. Because you gave us clothes, we took it. You, you gave us many things, we took mattresses. But show me the other original picture, not this one. Show me the, the original one that we started with. Go ahead, where the people are gathered. Where the people had gathered. I, I want to see that. There were masses of people. And we, we are taking them clothes. It's on the same video where that man was. If you go further a little bit more, you will see that. It is, uh, and, and then you look at them now. Man, it's day and night. Partners, thank you so much. Thank you so much for what God has called you to do and what he has used you to do. Come on, man, with a video. The same video you're on, just go forward. You see masses of people seated there. And um, now that was after we gave them clothes. Just go beyond that. Before, 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 the, before, you, before the clothes. I want the image before the clothes. When some of the kids were naked. I want you to see the, the image because sometimes when you don't compare what the Lord has done, you never be grateful. Or you never say, Lord, you've used me to fulfill scriptures. Hey. So if you if you look at them before, oh boy. Now you guys know I'm gonna talk about Karamoja. So put all the videos on the screens. So that if I ask this one in the service, you already have it. Uh, you, you have it. It's, it's on the video. The video where the masses were. The one when the kid was picking up grass to cook. That's where it begins and then it goes. I, I was thinking about it and I said, ah, it's not only the food we are giving, but their clothes have changed. Now go forward on that one. Go forward. That's... Go forward where the crowds are. Where they had gathered and waiting for a team. Just go, go, just go forward, just go forward. In Jesus' name. You put it on fast speed, I'll, I'll tell you where, what I want. You go first forward, then you could have Where the masses are gathered together. They were dressing an old man, you know. Okay, anyway. <laughs> the, the, um, when you see now, you say, thank you. Thank you for using us. That's when you are dressing them. Before that, you just jumped something from the masses seated. Those are clothes. They are already dressed. Before the clothes. So it is um, it's just amazing. So those of you watching by television, the number is on the screen. Those of you who are Momope, Airtel, Call, MTN. 
Please, you plant your seed today. Those of you overseas, wherever you are, plant your seed in Jesus' name. On PayPal, the numbers are there. The Lord will prosper you. So let me pray for these people. Each one of us, you can get your seed. If you brought your $100, you will line up here. The rest of us, we can put our seeds on the, on the steps. Father, we give you praise, the opportunity you've given us to give. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. We thank you, Lord, for your power. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness of your people that every day every service they give thank you for the team in Karamoja that you have raised so faithfully that they are planting seeds that they are giving and they are staying there to work thank you Lord for your glory just give us more anointing double anointing in Jesus mighty name Amen and amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. In Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. God bless. God bless you. God bless you. I know he will give us 200 people. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Who are giving $100 to buy fertilizers. What we need is $20,000 to get that fertilizer. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise, Lord. We give you praise. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. You need an envelope? We are bringing you one. You in Jesus' name. Okay, let's touch the oil. Thank you. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Father, Lord God, we give you praise. You will grant it, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. We give you praise, Jesus. Amen. 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 Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. We give you praise, Jesus. There's going to be awesome. Father, bless some mightily. Bless some mightily. Bless some mightily. We have fast fruit. And increase some mightily. In Jesus' name.
pick him up pick him up touch holy spirit i give you praise jesus Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Stand up on your feet. Just raise your hand. And just laugh. Let the Lord bless you mightily. Come on, just laugh. Just laugh. Prosperity is coming your way. Prosperity is coming your way. Blessings are coming your way. In Jesus' name, may the power of resurrection be with you. In Jesus' name, we'll see you tomorrow.